This is how to create an orange slice pattern swatch. So first we need to enable the grid and the snap to grid feature. So go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and snap to grid. From here, zoom into the grid a little bit, pick the ellipse tool, go to one of these crosshairs right here, and while holding down the shift key, draw a circle that is four by four squares. Then pick the fill and disable the fill. Now pick the line tool and draw a line from here that goes straight through the middle of the circle. Then pick the rotate tool, hold down the alt key to get these dots next to the cursor and click inside the middle of the circle. So we want five of these lines in total to go through the circle. Therefore inside this box we want to type in 360 degrees, which is a full circle, divided by five. Then click copy. Now to repeat this step, simply click Ctrl D until we have all the lines that we need. So now we have 5 lines going through the circle, which splits the circle into 10 pieces. So now pick the selection tool and select all the lines, then go to the stroke menu and make the strokes wider. I will choose 10 points, and if you have the default grid size, your drawing should look exactly like this right now. If you have another grid size, simply pick a line width that you like. Now while having everything selected, the lines plus the circle, go to object and click expand. From here make sure fill and stroke is on and click OK. Now pick the shape builder tool and click one time on all these separate pieces. Then pick the selection tool, select the entire object, right click the object and select ungroup. From here select the outer ring right here and delete this one and also select and delete all these lines right here. Leaving you with a shape like this. Now select all these shapes, go to effect, go to stylize and click round corners. From here you can click the preview button and select a radius that you want. I will go for 15 pixels, then click OK. Then go to object again and select expand appearance. This will make sure that the effect is applied to the path as well. Now select the ellipse tool, go to the middle of the circle, hold down the alt key and the shift key and draw a circle like this. Make it a stroke instead of a fill, go to the stroke width and select the width that is double the width of the strokes you used between these pieces. I used a stroke that was 10 points between these pieces, so for the outer ring I will use 20 points. Then with the ring selected, Go to object and click expand. In the pop-up menu make sure fill and stroke is on and click OK. Now go to the selection tool again, select all the objects, move the screen a little if you need to. Now if you want a clean and simple design you can skip this next step and simply use the object as it is right here. But if you want a more playful design, we want to make the object look a little bit more hand drawn and we are going to do this by selecting all the objects. Go to Effect, go to Distort and Transform, and click Roughen. Here in the pop-up menu we click Preview, then click Smooth, click Absolute, and then drag the details down to 3 and also the size down to 3. Just to make the strokes look less perfect, you can choose whatever settings you like right here. When you're done, click OK. Then while still having all the objects selected, go to Object and click expand appearance. From here choose a yellow color for the lemon, right click the lemon and click group. So now we have the object that we need for our pattern swatch. So how do we create the actual pattern swatch? First we want to remove the grid and the snap to grid feature. So go to view, then go to hide grid, then go to view again and uncheck snap to grid. Then zoom out, pick the selection tool and drag the orange slice to the side. So now just to have a guideline to help us, we want to create a simple square and fill this square with orange slices of different sizes. So pick the rectangle tool, hold down the shift key to make a square and create a small square like this. Then make it a stroke instead of a fill. The color of the square doesn't matter. Now pick the selection tool and pick the orange slice then hold down the ALT key to duplicate and duplicate one slice to the canvas. Then make this slice small, 
and put it inside the square. Now we can zoom into the square and start designing our tile. So now we simply need to fill this square with orange slices of different sizes. And you don't need to have it exactly right from the start, we are just doing the groundwork right now. So this looks decent. Now simply delete the square, select all the orange slices, go to object, go to pattern and click make. From here we can adjust the position of the slices and also make more or less if we want to. So the goal is to make the pattern look seamless and as we can see there's a lot of spacing right here and not a lot of spacing right here. So we can make adjustments like moving some of the slices to get more or less space between the slices. Let's do this until it looks right. And as you can see, you can have them spill out of the square if you need to. And often this will have the pattern look more seamless. So I think this looks really nice. When you're done adjusting your pattern, simply click done. And your pattern will now show up as a swatch right here. Now we can zoom out, delete all these objects right here, create a shape and give this shape a background color. I will use a very light yellow. Then with the background color still selected, go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front. For this front shape, simply select the pattern. 